Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at the lookup table based PMSM demo model. This Plex demo model shows an inverter fed, eight pole, nonlinear permanent magnet synchronous machine. The machine is parameterized with finite element analysis or FEA data. The FEA data was generated for a Toyota Prius motor model in Infolitica's MotorSolve platform, which is a third party tool. The non excited synchronous machine component enables the use of lookup tables to configure the machine such as to incorporate saturation and cross-coupling effects. I'll first walk through the rest of the model before discussing the machine in more detail. The electrical circuit consists of a stiff 200 volt DC supply and an ideal two-level inverter. Mechanical sensors are then connected to the machine's mechanical terminal to measure the machine shaft's mechanical speed and mechanical angle. The mechanical speed and angle are then scaled by the number of pole pairs to determine the electrical speed and angle. These values, along with the stator currents and DC bus voltage, are then passed into the current controller. The machine is operated at constant speed to study the performance of the current controller. Constant speed operation is achieved by connecting a speed source to the mechanical terminal and setting the machine's inertia to zero. Direct and quadrature current set points are provided as inputs to the current controller. The controller implementation is based on a digital synchronous reference frame regulator where there is decoupling based on motor speed. State limiting and anti windup mechanisms are included as well. Proportional integral controllers are implemented for the current regulation in the D and Q axes using a Plex C script block. The gains of the controllers and the system decoupling are based on the motor parameters of speed, incremental inductance, and stator resistance. Finally, space vector pulse width modulation is used to generate the output voltage of the inverter. A configurable dead time is also included to prevent shorting of the DC bus. Let's quickly look at the machine's mass parameters where lookup tables are used to define flux linkages and incremental inductances as a function of D and Q axis currents. All parameters for the model are defined using the octave language syntax in the model initialization parameters accessible via the simulation menu. In this case, an external .mat file contains all the data that is imported. As an example of the type of FEA data used, this plot shows how the D-axis flux, shown in the vertical axis, varies as a function of D and Q-axis currents. A similar plot is shown for the D-axis incremental inductance. An application note is available on our website that discusses the process of importing FEA data into Plex for this purpose. All right, let's run a simulation. The quadrature current set point is initially set to 20 amps. After a brief startup transient, the set point is reached. The Q-axis current set point then undergoes a step change to 130 amps. The Q-axis flux linkage increases and the machine is driven into saturation. This is seen in the nonlinear relationship between current and flux for the Q-axis shown in red. Saturation causes the machine's incremental inductance to change, introducing a mismatch in the decoupling term and PI regulator performance. This in turn causes the D axis current to deviate from its set point. In the model, one option to mitigate for this is to limit the rate of change in the current set point. An alternative solution is to use lookup tables for the decoupling parameter and PI gains to optimize the machine performance. We welcome you to explore this model in more detail yourself. This concludes the video on the lookup table based PMSM demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com.